Professor Kelly. Uh, thank you, Prime Minister. Minister, so just a, a few things for me on monkeypox. Firstly, what is it? Uh, it's a, a viral disease, as has been mentioned by the Minister. Uh, it is spread by very intimate contact. And at the moment, the international as well as the local epidemiology demonstrates it is mainly in the international sphere and exclusively in the Australian sphere uh, being found amongst uh, gay, bisexual and other men who have sex with men. Um, but this can affect anybody and that's, a, that's the reason why we've, we've got made all of the strong public health, clinical, laboratory and other uh, guidance uh, nationally uh, to prepare and to respond to this outbreak. And so the vaccine announcement today is absolutely important, uh, but it's only one part of the many things we've been working on, uh, as the Minister said, since May. I was actually in Geneva that, that first week when the, when the WHO had their very first uh, briefing about monkeypox, and so we've been following that and the international situation in particular um, uh, throughout that period. Um, it, it, this this, uh, this uh, disease uh, in Africa uh, is very easy to spot. It, uh, it, it, uh, there is a lot of uh, rash on the on the whole body, as well as uh, uh, flu and uh, flu-like symptoms. Uh, in this current outbreak, though, it is uh, can be quite specific, uh, and uh, and often affects uh, the genital areas. Can cause proctitis, a, a, a very painful condition, um, as well. Uh, as, as other um, uh, ways that it presents. Uh, so it's a slight, there has been a difference in the way it's presenting. Uh, it generally does not cause severe disease, but there have been some deaths uh, in Spain recently, in the, this week, and it can affect other people who are immunocompromised, children, pregnant women, uh, if it gets into that, that, those populations, it can be quite severe. So that's why we're taking um, the steps we're taking and the vaccines will really help with that. Um, but that's only been part of the issues we've been working um, on the basis of what the WHO has recommended we should do as a country like Australia that has never seen monkeypox before. Uh, and we've been well ahead with that. We've uh, secured the vaccines. Uh, we've been talking very closely with peak bodies, states and territories. We've developed clinical laboratory and public health guidance for the nation. ATAGI has given their uh, advice on the vaccines. And then uh, it will be, in, in, the, in the context of that limited supply, uh, will be targeted at very much at those at greatest risk of, of, of having the disease or having poor consequences if they were to get the disease. Uh, and so that's, uh, I won't go into the details, but essentially um, it will be people at high risk of monkeypox uh, that have, 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 have been uh, in contact with someone in the last 14 days, uh, gay, bisexual and men who have sex with men who are in that high risk category um, of, of a number of sexual contacts or, or a recent um, sexually transmitted infection. Anyone in a high risk group who is uh, planning to travel overseas, because that is uh, uh, certainly a, an area where they are at higher risk if they are in that at risk group. And, and those, of course, uh, healthcare workers that are, uh, are at greatest risk. These are the list of priorities. Uh, but just to stress that we have given that advice at the national level, but each state and territory uh, will be looking after that manner and finding those, those people at risk uh, to offer this vaccine as early as next week. Thank you, PM. Thanks very much, Professor.